since Jen recently cut off her long hair, she is experimenting with different styles and wants to try something more structured and geometrical. Jen's structure graphic shows a solid convex outlining along the nape hairline and a solid concave outlining along the fringe of the temple area. The remaining exterior, the crest and part of the interior, are sculpted as high graduation. The previously existing uniform lengths at the top of the head are broken up for the point cutting technique. Section a center part from the front hairline to the crown. section a diagonal back parting of the temple and sideburn area. Distribute the hair naturally and use the shears against the skin to sculpt a slightly C-shaped solid line along the front hairline. Maintain the length of the sideburn area. Repeat the procedures on the opposite side. Move to the nape hairline and distribute the hair naturally. Use the clippers against the skin to create a solid convex nape perimeter. Work from the center towards one side, then from the center to the other side to ensure symmetry. Use a straight razor against the skin and remove any remaining superfluous hair. Take diagonal back partings behind the ear. Sculpt with the tips of the shears against the skin along a diagonal back line. Be sure to connect into the nape hairline. Sculpt any hair that might reach the design line, creating a distinct perimeter. Repeat the same technique on the opposite side. Using the shortest lengths from behind the ear as a reference, distribute the sides naturally and sculpt along a diagonal forward line. Connect the lengths from behind the ear to the longer sideburn lengths. Move back to the nape and use the taper shear over comb technique around the hairline. Now distribute the fringe naturally and begin sculpting in the center. Control the hair with your comb positioned horizontally and sculpt with the shears parallel to the comb. Work to the middle of each eye, then angle your comb slightly diagonally backwards. Continue to sculpt parallel with your shears and connect into the sideburn lengths. Repeat the procedures on the opposite side. Ensure symmetry, creating an all-over concave fringe design. Now release a vertical parting from the crown to the nape. Project at a medium angle and position your fingers at a high angle. Sculpt parallel with the shears, creating high graduation. Work with a mobile design line towards one side, and then from the center toward the other side. Continue to stop graduation on the sides until you reach the front of the ear. Then shift the remaining side back to the last sculpted section. This will maintain more length and weight for the longer side buds. Sculpt the opposite side in the same manner. Subsection the interior with a center point. Take random horizontal partings and project at 90 degrees. Position your fingers near the ends and use the shears to point cut and break up the pre-existing uniform lengths. Work from the front to the back and repeat on the opposite side. 
The graphic shows the four zones used to apply the progression of color. The lowest zone encompasses most of the exterior and is applied with a level 3 brow. The next zone encompasses the crest area and a one inch wide section along the front hairline. This zone is colored with a level 4 warm brown formula. Most of the interior is colored with a level 5 warm brown. A one inch wide section at the side part is colored with the darkest formula. All colors are permanent and mixed with 20 volume developer. After rinsing and drying the hair, section a half inch wide parting parallel to the front hairline and affix the hair with a piece of clear tape. Place a thermal sheet underneath the hair ends and apply powder lightener with 30 volume developer. Fold the thermal sheet up to cover the product and process until the hair is distinctly lighter.